realize what time it is. What? What is it? Gladys? Gladys! Hmm. Oh, Billy! Let me see what's become of you! What? Morning, Dad! <gasps> Wait a sec. Skin and hair and... <laughs> a skeleton? But I... But I... I, 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 I Did someone forget to take their medicine today? Skeleton, sheesh. But I... I... I'd better get the flail. Oh, ah! Hi, Dad. Ah, hi, Billy. More skeletons, huh? Aw, <laughs> oh, Mom, you ruined our good hiding spot. <gasps> My baby! Oh! <laughs> yes, yes, it's good to see you too, Mrs. Billy's mom. Oh, oh, Billy, 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 Billy. No hideous germs or spooky skeletons can tear you from my arms. Excuse me. Have you seen two? Ah, there you rascals are. Oh, come on. At least I have clothes on this time. Mommy's just going away to rest for a while. Bye, Bye, sweetheart! Bye! Bye. 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 See ya! Bye. 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 Wonderful. Never been better. I just needed a little vacation after my skeleton episode. Dear, there's someone I'd like you to meet. This is Billy's friend, George. Or Grimy or something. Pleased to meet you, Grim. This food looks mediocre. Why, thank you, Mandy. Mind your manners. <laughs> we don't put our elbows on the table. Hello, Grimey. I've been waiting for you. It's payback time for chasing me out. My house. But stay away from my baby. He's allergic to the undead. Uh, madam, I don't think you understand. Oh, oh. Do you know where that mop has been? Foolish mortal! I don't think you know who I am. Let me give you a hint.
What's going on? I was trying to help poor Grimy pull himself together. Perhaps you and Mandy can help Grimy into the garbage can. For the last time, Billy, we are not playing hide-and-seek with you. Come out! Come out! Wherever you are! My gosh, you're stupid. Adi, adi, action free! He, uh, doing that hide-and-seek thing again? Yep. What that boy needs is focus. So what do you propose to do about it? About what? The focus problem. What focus problem? Let it go, Mandy. Being a rock star's easy, Billy. Anyone can do it. Even me? Sure, even me. All you need is long hair, makeup, and tight pants. And we can get that stuff right here in your mom's closet. Yeah. Sure. I've got an idea. We'll enter the Battle of the Bands contest and rule rock and roll as father and son! I'm gonna be a rock star. Ow! Tough competition! So when do we attack? Soon, my son. Soon. Okay, Billy. Let's rock. Attack! you come fishing with me today? I know a bay where they practically beg right. to be eaten. Eaten? But doesn't that hurt them? Ah, uh, fish don't have feelings, son. They're made of foam latex. What do you say? You coming? No! Fish are living creatures who deserve our love and respect! Uh, gee. I never thought of it that way. So, you coming or what? No! That's the spirit, son! Now, Billy, the first rule of fishing is be real quiet. Think you could do that, son? That's my boy. Real quiet. Now then, Billy, the second rule of fishing is patience. That's how you catch the big ones. I know I've never told you this before, Billy, and I probably never will again. But I love you, son. Hey, everybody! I wonder if he figured out that Billy never actually went fishing with him. Where do you see the fish that Billy and I caught? Guess not. Honey's, I'm home! What are you doing? Knocking holes in the table. I don't know. Listen, mister! If Billy isn't back by dinner, there will be grim consequences. <laughs> Have you crazy kids been flashing back in here? Yeah. We've been trying to talk Billy out of going on a picnic. A picnic? Oh, honey, no, no. You remember what happened last time? Please pass the eggs, daddy. Fraggle, fraggle! Ah! Somebody help me! What is this, a party? Dad, talk some sense into your son. He wants to go on a picnic. After what happened last time? You all remember that, right? Please pass the eggs, Dally. Fraggle, fraggle! Ah, somebody help me! Oh, you're gonna love shed building, son. Even a complete and total nincompoop can do it. Like you? Yeah, like you. Now, where was I gonna build that shed? It's all about location. What are you doing now? Checking the acoustics. Hello, Billy's dad. Hey, Grim. I wanted to ask. Excuse you me. While you kids talk, I'm gonna pick my nose. Just wanted to give you the heads up. So, Grim, have you seen Billy yet? Ooh! Mm. Oh. 
Yes, I've seen him. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Come on, let's do this. Uh, Mom, the bathroom is talking to me again. Should I get my vitamins? <laughs> oh, Billy, your dad is doing something for Mommy. He's shaving his beard even though he hates to. It's well worth the effort and makes Mommy happy. Oh, kind of like when Nanny makes me eat worms and makes fun of me for eating them? Why, yes, Billy, it's the exact same thing. So watch your father and learn how to be cool and be loved for doing things you hate. Come on! You can do this. Let's get it on! Hello, Jericho. Steel friend. <laughs> Boy, trying to think, huh? Hey, no, I don't do that anymore. Why are you shaving your beard? It's cool. Well, son, you see, if I shave my face, Mommy shaves her legs. Oh, sweetie, are you still shaving in there? Let me see how... <gasps> Sasquatch! No, 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 wait! I thought I told you it's over! We had an agreement that you would never return! Ah! Sasquatch! Was in there. Put me in the freezer. Young man, you can be rude. Break furniture, run up phone bills, shave the cat, and even harass your mother. But when you touch the pomp, it's go time. See, Harold, I told you it was not a good idea for Billy to have donuts three times a day. That's me and that's more good than my best. No more sugar for Billy! Those your sheets, honey? Was it the dream about the clowns again? <sighs> Those your sheets? Was it the dream about Santa Claus again? <sighs> Guess who I am? Da -ha -ha. Billy's dad? Da -ha -ha -ha. No, no! Just Billy! Why would you want to be my Billy replacement? Da -ha -ha. Are you kidding? This makes me feel 20 years younger! <sighs> Where are you people getting all these Billy outfits? Oh, Billy was wearing this one. See? I'm sorry, Bobby. Billy doesn't usually act like that. I'm used to it. So, have you been having fun around town? I sure have. Pretty soon, I will completely take over Billy's life. Friends, family, possessions, all will be mine! <laughs> what? Uh, I mean, da, Bobby like fun. That's what I thought you said. So, uh, Billy. Bobby, dear, Billy's our son. Yeah, whatever. Do you know any songs of l'amour? Billy, the world is laughing at you. <laughs> <laughs> Full on friendship! <laughs> Mom? Daddy? Oh, we're sorry, Billy. We weren't laughing at you. We were laughing with you. I was laughing at him. Mom, what you doing? Steven over a hot stove all day working your fingers to the bone? Yeah. That's right, Billy. Yeah, and what things do you get, right? I tell you, nothing. <laughs> you. Can I help you cook? No, 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 Billy. That's <laughs> against the rules. <laughs> Dad, what you doing? Working nine to five, trying to make ends meet, but you can't, so you gotta use credit cards, but 
always ran out of money too! And now you gotta sell your car? Uh, actually, I'm just sawing this fine piece of lumber. Can I saw the legs of the dining room chairs so everyone feels real short? No, Billy. You know the rules about sawing the legs off the dining room chairs and making everyone feel real short. Yeah, yeah. More rules! <laughs> A motorcycle! Yeah, we feel we've been a little hard on you lately. What with all the rules and all. So, I bought myself a motorcycle! Now when the rules get me down, I can just ride my hog! Say, I bet you want to ride it. Yeah! Well, you can't! You know the rules. Like my helmet, you're gonna love my new hog! It only cost us Billy's entire college fund. What did you say? I said it only cost us Billy's entire college fund! Oh, well, it must be nice. Oh, yeah, baby. Hi, Dad. I followed the rules and didn't touch your new motorcycle. Of course you didn't, boy. Because I'd probably have gone berserk with unimaginable blind fury. <laughs> Dad, the truth is I broke your motorcycle. Well, then, no TV for one hour. Mom! Dad! Ew. Vomit. See you around, Geekwad. I love you! And I love you. Mwah. <gasps> Dad! Yes, my glorious son? You gonna go berserk with unimaginable blind fury? Nope. The important thing is you told the truth. Besides, I'm sick of motorcycles. There, there was this small, very obnoxious boy who, come to think of it, kind of looks like your friend here, who angered the master control computer with his constant barrage of stupid questions. Sickened with humanity, master control ordered all the robots to start attacking people. I'm Tuxedo Man! <laughs> yes, yes, you're Tuxedo... <laughs> tuxedo Man? No! No, Billy! No tuxedo man! Remember last time. <laughs> tuxedo! <laughs> oh, yeah, kids. How about a smile for your new dad? <laughs> he did it! This kid's a genius! Oh, it's just a gas, Bubble Harry. I know a genius when I see one, Gladys. His first steps! It's gas! It's genius! <laughs> His first word! And only two and a half minutes old! That's what I call genius! And that's how it happened. <laughs> I sure hope our little talk has helped you understand Billy better. It's a wonder the boy can even tie his shoes. He can't! But look at the bright side. What bright side? Yeah. What could possibly be bright about this? I have no idea. There. Spick and span, neat, sweet, tidy, and trim. And no more Tuxedo Man! Right, Billy? Billy? <laughs> Tuxedo Man! something on today's exciting adventure. Yeah, I learned that my best friend got eaten by a pterodactyl and this adventure stunk! Thought it stunk, eh? <laughs> well, you just bought yourself a week of no TV with that comment, mister! Take us home, Gladys. Do-do-do, do-do-do-do. Hmm, anything to eat in there?
this house? Funky falafels, box of bacon soda, weak old pasta, wishing skull, wimpy wieners. Wait a sec! Say you grant wishes? Yes, I have. All right! But I must warn you. I don't need your life story. But you, me, wish, no! I'm a teenager again. Well, kind of. Now I could be the ultra rad cool guy I was again. Hey, foxy lady. Feel like partying with a wild man? Who you calling a lady, buddy? <laughs> Sup, dogs? Who wants to go long? Can I rock out with y'all for a while? Hey, I remember you! You used to kick my... Hey! You. You know, maybe I wasn't the cool hip-happening stud I thought I was in high school. Do you know how valuable a wish is, Grim? But it will backfire. Wishes always do. That's why I'm selling it, of course. Well, no. I gotta have it! I didn't learn my lesson the first time! Yeah, well, I disagree with Mandy's forecast of doom. I still say they'll be best friends forever, because when it comes to matters of the heart, Billy is... Doomed. Yeah, you're right. Now get down. <laughs> well, at least that crazy duck went away, yo. Yeah, but I wonder, who will his next victim be? Hey, a duck! What the heck just happened? Meet Billy's dad, a hard-working, loving family man. See ya, honey. I'm off to work. But not too bright. Meet Grim. Put some pants on, man. You're blinding the whole neighborhood. Phase three of your midlife crisis. That's right. The muscle car phase. Next comes the trophy wife. Well, let's fire this baby up. Ooh, she fires up nice. Oh yeah. Now let's go for a ride. Regular size box, Billy. Super size might not fit in the car. Okay. That's better. Good thing I had that ball of twine in my pocket, Billy, or we might never have gotten this thing home. I think I see a no bridge coming up. I was once like you. I used to love to dance, and I was fantastic. I would leave audiences in awe. <laughs> At the night of my big dance recital, I was amazing. Dear old dad rose from the stands and proclaimed, Dancing's for girls! Stricken by his remark, I lost focus and fell flat on my face. I was the laughing stock of the entire recital, and from then on, I promised never to dance again! So you see, Billy, the moral of the story is, never drink orange juice first thing in the morning. It gives you the poots. So, Dad, can I go to a super special school and live there forever studying dance? Sure. I don't see why not. I'll drive! Billy, you forgot your dance bag in the car. Oh, my gosh! An evil witch is using this ballet school to recruit innocent dance students so she can steal their souls! And now she's about to suck out Billy's soul! Lady, no one steals Billy's soul. That wasn't in the school curriculum. Oh, yes, it was. It was on the first page of the brochure in bright red letters. Yeah, but you didn't count on one thing. I can't read. See, I, I told, told you dancing would make you weak. weak. You're nothing but a big, fat, girly quitter. I'm no quitter, and I'm not girly. I'm a ballet dancer! No, it can't be! That's impossible! The Mabu High Shuffle!
What's going on up there? The whole place is falling apart. Yet another school that Billy's ruined.